Hello Capricorn and welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing your reading for the week of March 9th through March 16th. I've already meditated upon the cards and I have pre-shuffled but as always I will shuffle live during your meditation. Spirit showed me an empty plate. That was a really bad shuffle so I'm going to shuffle again. <laughs> And an empty plate signifies to get ready to receive. So, I mean, it, that sounds amazing. Let's see how it correlates to the reading overall. But yeah, and the image came very, very, very quickly. Um, I had just started the shuffling process and the meditation process, and it, it came to me very quickly. Uh, we have pause. May moments of calm sustain you. Immediately what I'm getting with this card is that you feel that whatever it is you're doing has been a very slow process. Whatever it is you've been expecting has been a very slow process and I feel like you feel stalled for whatever reason. That's what I'm getting here with this particular card. And, wow, seriously? All of the earth readings have been like snap, snap, snap. All, every card has come out, so like yours came out in a bundle. So before I even look at these cards, I'm going to finish your, your Oracle card here. I, I feel that the, this moment right now that nothing is coming is setting you up because like you've been waiting to receive. I feel like you're just going to get served everything quickly. Just like all of these cards just came out quickly. I don't even know what the cards are. But all of them came out at the same time. You're about to receive so much so quickly, it's not even funny. Again, I don't know what the cards are. Let's take a look at these. <laughs> the star card, the nine of pentacles in reverse, the nine of wands in reverse, the seven of swords in reverse, and the hermit card. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. So for me, the star card is about hope. And I feel like you are still, I feel like you still have this hope. I do. I feel like you are inspired. I feel like you're still creative. However, I still feel like you are in the motion or the uh, idea, I should say, that things are taking too quickly. But... Oddly enough, I'm getting that there is divine timing involved in this. I don't know why with this nine of pentacles and the nine of wands before I even get to the actual what they mean. I'm getting that not only is this in regards to business, but I feel like this is also in regards to a person not a specific person, but someone that you want in your life. Like you want someone in your life to kind of be there, uh, to be in a relationship with. I don't know whether you have a specific person in mind. I'm not seeing that. I'm just seeing that you just, you just don't want to be alone. You're okay with being alone, but I feel that you just want somebody there. And I feel like it's taken you a long time to find somebody that is suitable for you. I hope that makes sense. That's not what the cards mean, but that's, that's what I'm getting here. All right, now let's take a look at the Nine of Pentacles in reverse meaning. You know, it's funny. I feel, I feel like you flip-flop between 
being inspired and not being inspired. That, that's what I'm seeing here. It's like you kind of go back and forth a little bit. But I don't feel, I don't feel that you're in this lack of inspiration for too long. I feel like you're in it for like a moment and then you kind of go internally and then you go, okay, breathe. Don't think like that. And then you correct it. I feel like you self-correct this. I really like that. It's like you recognize that thought and then you go, no, 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 no. I'm in the feeling of hope. I'm in the feeling of expecting. I'm, a, I'm in the feeling of receiving. And for some reason, I'm, I'm really getting a calmness about you, even if this is taking a long time. With the, the Knight of Wands in reverse, I feel like you might be, whoa, that card flew out. Hold on. I feel that you might be moving forward a little too quickly or maybe overly confident because I feel like you're confident, my dear Capricorn. And I feel, and I know this card is typically about being a little bit reckless, but I, I don't see you as being reckless. I just feel like you are really confident in the idea that your wish is gonna come true, that whatever it is, it's coming to you. That's what I'm seeing here. With the seven of swords in reverse, I feel that this is really about you've been keeping secrets for whatever reason or you've been uh, strategizing and for whatever reason what I'm seeing with this particular card in reverse is that the way you've been strategizing, you're rethinking that strategy and you're tweaking it. It's like you're, you're I, I'm seeing change with this particular card. I, I don't know, I don't know what that is, but I'm seeing like you're, I, I'm just seeing change. I feel like it's a good thing overall. And then with the Hermit card, overall, I feel like you constantly go back in a place of spirituality. I feel like you go back to reflection and, and prayer or meditation or I, I feel like you constantly do this because I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing waves. I, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm seeing waves where you are inspired, not inspired. I'm gonna show off, no, I'm, I'm gonna rethink this. Let's go internally. So every time you have a really great thought, I feel you recognize that, oh, I have a negative thought. No, 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 I gotta go back to this positive thought. And every time you go, you know, you, you, you have this confidence. You're like, yes, 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 you know, I'm going in the right direction and then all of a sudden some stagnation happens and then you rethink your strategy and you change things up to refresh something. It's like you go back in, you go inward, like you cheat, you're constantly auto-correcting yourself is the word I'm that, that's popping up. That's the word that, that's coming out. And you do this because you are very self-aware here with the hermit card and I feel like you're very self-aware because you're constantly reflecting on your words on your thoughts constantly praying meditating whatever this looks like for you I 
this, that's what I'm seeing. All right, we have the judgment card in reverse, the ten of wands in reverse, the hangman, the two of wands in reverse. Okay, very good. Let's take a look at these cards. The judgment. So, by the way, I only pull out four cards. However, for your reading, five cards came out all at once, so I took it. All right. So I just want to make sure that you are aware as to why I did that. The star card is uh, clarified here by the judgment card. And the judgment card can be about letting go. It could be about, it could also mean about lack of self-awareness, but I don't feel like that's the issue. I feel that you are incredibly self-aware, which is why you keep going back inwards and, and reflecting with this hermit card. With this particular judgment card, funny enough, I feel like you're holding on to this dream of yours regardless of what others have to say. I feel like people are judging you, but you're saying, I'm not listening to your nonsense. I can make this happen. I believe in myself. That's what I'm seeing here with this judgment card with the 10 of wands in reverse, clarifying the nine of pentacles, knight of pentacles in reverse. Sorry. Sometimes I say knight of pentacles, but you, you can't hear the T. So I have to make sure that I say it clearly with the knight of of pentacles in reverse we have the ten of wands in reverse and i feel like again this is you not feeling burdened i don't feel like you're burdened i i, I i'm getting you again I, I said it early on a sense of calmness it's just a sense of calmness and i feel then we have the hangman right afterwards and then the two of wands in reverse and with the hangman Again, I feel like you've surrendered to the universe, to God's way, to the way that things are supposed to happen. And again, I feel like whatever it is that's happening, I'm not sure what it is because none of this is really discussing it, but whatever this is, I feel like you have been praying for this for a very long time. I, I really have, I, I don't know what it is, but I do feel like you've been praying for this for a long, long time. And I feel like you finally sent out your message to the universe and you've let it go. You have surrendered to the idea that it's gonna get taken care of for you. That's what I'm seeing here. Then with the Seven of Swords, we have the two, well, Seven of Swords in reverse. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. And I feel that you have no option. Like you're, you're like, yes, you do have options. We all have options, but you're choosing not to have an option like you you're clearly stating to yourself this is what i'm doing I, i'm not putting my eggs in any other basket i this is this is my only option this is my ride or die this is what i want to do or this is who i want to be with i don't know take it how it resonates and that's it and I feel like you're not, you're choosing not to settle. That's what I'm getting here with this particular two of wands. Now, spirit is saying, I don't want another, <laughs> I don't want another tarot card. I want an oracle card, but from this particular deck. So they gave me this deck. All right. Healing family issues.
Wow, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Wow. Okay. So overall, I don't always take the message that's below. I, I take... I take it because I read intuitively. I take it how the imagery comes along and the initial feeling and the words that spirit gives through me. So with this particular card, in regards to love, because I, again, I mentioned someone in your life. Like you've been waiting for someone specific and I feel like you don't settle. And I feel like you've gone through so much where you're like, okay, I'm not settling, but I feel that spirit is on point here when they're, are, when they're saying, forgive your parents. Their relationship wasn't perfect. No relationship is perfect, but everybody did the best that they could. At least we all hope that they did. And even if they didn't, that isn't your issue anymore. That is something that you have to just forgive them, recognize that they're human and move on. Okay. And then also I feel simultaneously, I feel this is in regards to business or whatever it is you're trying to create here. And I feel again, the way you, maybe you saw the way they did business and maybe the way it didn't work for them, you know, forgive them because now you see how tricky it could be. And again, recognize that they are human and they're gonna make mistakes, just like you're human and you're gonna make mistakes, right? It's, life is a journey. So forgive, forgive your past, forgive your parents. And again, I do feel this is incredibly, incredibly calming. And I feel like you have begun doing that, but I don't feel that you have completed forgiving them. I hope that makes sense. All right, but overall, I feel this is a really great reading. I am seeing, so with the, the Ten of Wands, and the Judgment is two uh, Roman numeral tens. So I see ten, ten, ten is really what I'm seeing here. And I feel like something closed, therefore something is going to begin. And I, that, I feel that that is why you're going to receive. Because you're closing out that chapter and all, and you've surrendered. And all of a sudden, here you are. Everything just comes pouring in for you, my dear Capricorn. I hope this did resonate. I hope you have an amazing week. Until we meet again, bye.